This is part 36 of AngularJS tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss Angular Route Service Reload method. This method is useful when we want to reload just the current route instead of the entire application. Let's understand the use of this method with an example. We will continue to work with the same example that we worked with in our previous videos in this series. When we navigate to slash students, we see the list of student names. These student names are coming from a database table and here is that database table. At the moment within this table we have got 10 records and we see all those 10 student records on this page. Now let's go ahead and insert a new record into this table by executing this insert statement. Let's select the data from the table just to make sure we have successfully inserted that new record. Notice we have Rob record in the table. At this point, let's visit the same URL by clicking on that same link once again. Look at that. Nothing happens. The new record does not show up. For the new record to show up, one way is to reload this page by clicking on this reload this page button. When I do that, notice the new record shows up, but the downside of this approach is that it's actually reloading the entire application, meaning all the resources required to run this application are once again reloaded from the server. Let's actually prove that by launching browser developer tools. So I'm going to click on this button right here and then select more tools and developer tools. This is going to launch Google Chrome developer tools. And at the moment we are on the network tab and at this point when we click this button look at what happens. Let's close this console window. Notice there are 8 requests issued and 2.3 kilobytes of data transferred. And if you look at what are all the resources reloaded from the server, notice Angular script file is reloaded. Angular route script file is reloaded. Styles.css, script.js, all the resources required to run this application are once again reloaded from the server. Instead of just reloading the resources required for this route slash students. And that's exactly what route service reload method does. So let's implement the reload method of the route service. So the first change that I'm going to do is within our students controller function. So into this function I'm going to inject dollar route service and on the view model object that we already have I'm going to expose a function and I'm going to call that function reload data. You can give this function any name that you want and within this function all we are going to do is call the reload method of the route service. So now we will have this function available in the view. So what we want is in this view we want a reload button. So let's go to students.html and just beneath this unordered list I'm going to create a button and when we click that button we want to call reload data function that we have just introduced. So I'm going to use the students controller object and let's call reload data function and the text that we want on this button is reload data. So let's save these changes and let's reload this page. So we see that reload data button. Let's launch our browser developer tools once again. And at this point, let's insert a new record into this students table. So now let's select the data to make sure we have successfully inserted that new record. Notice there is a new record there. And at this point, if you look at the data that we have on this page, we don't have that new record. And I'm going to click this reload data button and let's see what's going to happen. Look at that. Now there's only one request issued. And look at the amount of data transferred across the network, 983 bytes. It didn't reload all the resources required to run this app. It just reloaded the resource that is required to load this route. So it's just reloading this route in this case. So that is the use of reload method of the Angular route service. Thank you for listening and have a great day.